Hello YouTube, Facebook, friends, and the like. So one of the things I did yesterday was start talking about my experience about moving here to San Francisco. I showed you around my apartment. Today what I want to talk about is food. As you know, being from the South, I have um, high aspirations when it comes to culinary fulfillment. One of the great things about San Francisco is there's many ethnicities. They all come together to create an interesting, um, there's lots of different cuisines. Um, uh, everything for any type of palate. Um, so today what I'm going to talk about are my top five restaurants. At number five, I'm going to start with Southern Pacific. Now, Southern Pacific is a really interesting restaurant. They're a brewing company. Um, they have lots of pale ales, um, lots of unique blends, uh, really delicious beer. Um, one of the cool things about what they do is they have uh, sage fries, which this is, I guess, not exactly a dish, but it's something that you can get with everything. It adds a really cool flair. Um, they have really good burgers as well as other dishes um, for you to enjoy. Number four would have to be Osaka Sushi, which is located in the Castro. Now, San Francisco has a large Asian influence. And for that reason, um, there's lots of sushi restaurants. So it's by no means the most authoritative uh, opinion on sushi. I'm not saying it is the best one. It's just one of my favorite places to go. Um, the Castro being a really fun place to hang out, go have drinks. This is a really good place to go have dinner if you're in that part. Um, one of their cool dishes would have to be the barbecue mussels. They're really delicious. It takes fish and blends it with uh, tangy barbecue sauce in a way that really I would not have expected. Um, it's a bit spicy, has a lot of kick, so um, if you have that, be expecting a little bit of flair. The next uh, thing is not exactly a restaurant, number three, it's going to be a concept. Here in San Francisco, people take brunch very seriously. So during your weekend on Saturday or Sunday, um, after a big night out or not even a big night out, um, go out with some friends and find a favorite restaurant of yours which might have a brunch. Um, one of the things to note is that a lot of the brunches will include uh, pretty decent drink specials such as unlimited mimosas, margaritas, Bloody Marys, and all sorts of other things. Um, so look around, find a really great brunch. It's a great way to connect during your free time. Number Two is going to be a food truck. Um, now, a lot of people have been watching some of the TV lately and food trucks are becoming popular. Um, and that's true here for San Francisco as well. My favorite food truck would have to be Bacon Bacon. And the thing is, is bacon really goes great with anything. Um, and I think their slogan is, you had me at bacon. My favorite dish by them would have to be um, the LGBT, which is the lettuce, goat cheese, bacon, and tomato sandwich. And I really love the BLT sandwich. The goat cheese really adds a really cool kick to that sandwich that you really wouldn't expect. Um, it's delicious. Um, so if you are around, try to go find it. Um, you can check their Twitter account out online and figure out where they are in the city. Um, some of the popular places that they like to frequent include the Mission Dispatch and the Soma Street Food Fair. And while I'm at it, Mission Dispatch and Soma Street Food Fair have other food trucks as well. So if you're with a large party or you want to try a bunch of different things, these are really good places to visit. They're also really great places for lunch if you really uh, have a tight squeeze and you need to get in and out. My favorite place to eat, this is number one, would have to be the Dancing Pig. Now, being from the South, and you know, I'd really expect that only good barbecue could come from the South, like someplace near Memphis, someplace near Texas, but this place really does take it to another level. One of the great things about their barbecue is that their meats are delicious. You can have it without the sauce. And that's what really defines great barbecue. It's not the barbecue sauce that makes it. Um, it's the meat itself. It's the way it's prepared. It's juicy. It's uh, really well marinated. Um, but they have a few good sauces to go with it as well, varying from tangy to a traditional barbecue sauce to really spicy. And by spicy, I mean kind of Yankee boy spicy, so it's not going to be your Cajun blow you uh, blow you off the wall kind of spicy as an honorable mention I also want to mention um, orphan Andes which is it like there's nothing special it's just a really great diner to go um, if you're looking for a place to go eat during the weeknight and we just want to have comfort food they really do that really well um, it's uh, located in the Castro as well it's right off where the F market streetcar terminates um, and um, they have some of the best servers really nice people that uh, want to help you enjoy your um, time eating there. So if you have any questions, please feel free to message me and thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.